Dusty should be back with you. Oh, wait. He would call if there was a problem. You go check on them. Oh, wait. I'll call you if I find oh, anything else. Thank you. And for what? For believing me. You have no idea how good it feels to have you on my side. Jennifer, no, 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 really, I understand why you didn't believe me before. I mean, I was, I was a mess. But I've always known that you loved me. And that if I could prove to you that that baby was mine, that you would do anything to bring him back home. Sweetheart, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll, uh, I'll give you a call. You're not going anywhere, Paul. Not until you tell me why you paid Gwen Norbeck's legal fee. Paul wouldn't have anything to do with Gwen Norbeck. I asked you a question, Paul. I want an answer. Oh, tell him he's wrong and that you believe me and that he should too. No, Hal's not entirely wrong. I did go to Gwen and offer to help her, but that was before you even thought that this baby might be yours. Why? Well, that's a very good question, sweetheart. Why would your brother conspire with a teenage girl he barely knows to take a baby away from Carly and Jack? I didn't conspire with anybody. The Snyders wanted you to be the kid's godfather. They trusted you. And what do you do? You sick Cass Winthrop on them. You wanted that child gone, and I want to know why. Will came to me a few months ago and asked for me for my help, but Barbara had cut him off financially, and this is when he was claiming that he was the father of the child, and he panicked. I know he was, he was completely panicking, so uh, of course I helped him. You know, I'm his brother. We'll leave him hanging. But he wasn't the father. And I thought that that was the end of it, you know. Gwen had given up on getting a baby, and, and, and Will was playing baseball, talking about going to college. And then, uh, Rosanna had her accident, and everything changed, you know. All of a sudden, Gwen wanted the baby back, and I knew Will was going to get sucked into that. And so I went to Gwen, and I offered to help her on the condition that she take the child and leave town. Did Will know about any of this? No, Gwen wanted a whole new fresh start. She was guilty about involving Will in any of it at all. He didn't tell Will. He lied to him. Anybody. We never discussed it. That was Gwen's decision, and I supported it because I thought it was a better idea for him to go to college and have a life than settling down with some ready-made family. You manipulated him. And where were you? When was the last time you made Will a priority in your life? You brought Barbara into the house. You made it so that Will wasn't even welcome in his own home. It's no wonder that he, that he latched on to some single mother. You're blaming this on me. You blew it, Hal. Will left the house. Emily split. And you moved in to pick up the pieces. St. Paul! Well, I don't buy it. You're a liar and a thief. Yeah, yeah. He's using Will as an excuse, and I know it all sounds good, but trust me on this one, sweetheart. He paid Gwen Norbeck's legal fees for his own reasons, and I'm going to find out why. Stay out of my business. What? Yeah, yeah. All right, that's enough. We'll talk later, okay? He lied to Will, honey. He can lie to you. I'm going to go check on You didn't do this for Will, did you? I did this for Will. And I did this for you. For me. You had me committed. You were addicted to methamphetamines, Jennifer. I I was grieving because I lost my child and I couldn't stand the pain. Now, you knew that I thought that Gwen's baby was mine. How? Why didn't you tell me that you were helping her keep custody? Jennifer, at the time, nobody believed you. Dusty believed me. I didn't believe you, okay? And if you think that that makes me a bad person, no, then I'm sorry. That. But I wanted to help you. You were out of your mind with grief, and, and, and I thought that if, if I could just make it so that, that you could be a little bit better, you know, if you, could, if you could wake up in the morning with a smile on your face. So I went to Gwen, and I helped her get custody, I thought, and, and I thought that if I helped her get out of town, that that might make things a little easier for you. Easier? It's a small town, Jennifer. Who knows when you were going to run into them? And I thought that, you know, if he was gone, that you could start to forget. You thought that I would forget about my son? Oh, okay, look, forget's the wrong word. That's not what I meant to say. What I'm trying to tell you, Jennifer. I'm... No. Dad's right. Something else is going on here. And I would like to know what it is. Jennifer, this baby, the one that you say is yours, 
the one that Carly wants so badly, the baby that, that Gwen claims is hers. This baby, for me, has never been anything other than Rosanna's son. The night that he was born, Rosanna told me that she still loved me. And for a split second, there was hope. And then Craig called with news about the baby, and that was it. Everything changed. And... Every time I look at that child or hear about that child, all I can think about is Rosanna in that hospital bed. And I know that that sounds selfish to you. No. I understand. Do you? Do you understand? Because I don't, I don't understand. Nothing I do makes any sense to me anymore. Not since that night when she called me and then Craig ran her off the road and I held her in my arms and she looked at me with those eyes okay. forgive me of course I forgive you no no I I mean it Jennifer, no matter what happens with this baby, promise me, promise me, please, that you'll try to understand. I really just want you to be happy. I never meant to hurt you, Jennifer. I know. And I will have my son. Oh, did you get it? What took so long, huh? Hey. <laughs> Meg put herself on the line for your sister. Look at me, man. Have some respect. You're, you're absolutely right. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. I, I'm sure that what Meg did was really only for her. Thank you again, Meg, so much. It means so much to me. I was happy to do it. So what now? Yeah. What happens now, Meg? I need to take a blood sample from you. And then I'll have both the uh, blood samples tested, and uh, if we see uh, you need to go from there, we'll do a DNA test. I'm sure you know what you're doing. Okay. Uh, how long does it take to take a blood test? I don't know. How long did it take for you to take a blood test from the baby? A minute or two. Really? So what took you so long? Who cares? We got what we needed. What's going on with you and Meg? Who are you, my priest? I look out for my sister. Yeah. You're doing a bang-up job. You all set? Yeah. I'll take uh, these blood samples to the lab and we'll have results in a few hours. And then we'll know for sure. Oh, I'm getting my son back. Because of you. <laughs> 